Welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Kristen Hildebrand, Warren County Extension Agent for Horticulture. Now, Kristen, back in 2021, yes. we kind of had an invasion of fall armyworm, and mm -hmm. it got people kind of excited about it because it did damage quite a bit of lawns. Yes. Unfortunately, I know that you've received some calls this year and some identification of the armyworm again this year. Yes, yes. So we kind of wanted to put the alert out that the fall armyworm is out there. And, you know, generally this is a species that we traditionally see more in pasture and crop fields, but it will invade, I guess, into lawn areas too. And that's where we've gotten the, probably the concerned calls about what can I do. It is a tropical species. It doesn't overwinter here in Kentucky so that's good. Uh, it generally overwinters in Texas, Florida, and then it eventually works its way up north, generally Mississippi and Alabama, and then by Kentucky, you know, it kind of gets to us about June, July, you know, depending on the environmental conditions. On the head, it's got a Y-shaped. It's also got three um, straight bands or, you know, stripes, however you want to call it. And it depends on the instar as to what color it is. So it can be anywhere from brown to, to green. It just depends. But like I said, if you look for some of those um, characteristics, then that's how we can identify it for you. So generally, if it backs up to a crop field or something like that, we've gotten calls where, you know, it's invaded into a lawn from a crop uh, field that's close by. Um, but we wanted to kind of tell people about it because they may want to scout for it, especially if they back up to like a soybean field. Uh, I know a couple years ago we had it where it um, a crop field was next to a soccer field and they had just sown some new sprigs of Bermuda grass. And it, as far as the lawn areas are concerned, it'll um, affect Bermuda grass, it can go into tall fescue, uh, rye grass, it can really affect a lot of different grasses here in Kentucky because a lot of it predominantly affects in the Poa Asae family, which is in the grass family. But Kristen, it doesn't necessarily have to be up yes. against a field because we've mm -hmm. had some reports here in Warren County yes. of um, subdivisions, yards and subdivisions that don't back up to crop fields. So yes. it's more likely, but it can happen in other places as well. Yeah, and what happens is as the, the caterpillar is feeding, especially whenever it's, you know, kind of a smaller instar, it's going to do a more of a window pane type of effect. We had um, a concerned uh, citizen here that sent photos and you can kind of see the progression from whenever it started until the damage was kind of towards the end. So as it starts to feed, um, especially as it gets larger, the caterpillar does, um, it's really gonna like wipe out somebody's yard. Um, and it looks like that per brown color. I mean, it pretty much looks dead. And so a lot of times people will ask, okay, if I've got this issue, what are my options? Mm -hmm. So usually if an insecticide is needed, it needs to be done really earlier on to nor in order to treat for the fall armyworm. If it's gotten up to its later stage, there's not a lot that you can do. It's a good thing to know that this pest is not going to hang around because, you know, our winter here is not conducive for them to overwinter. Um, but, but generally, you know, you can look at other options for your lawn, and one of those is to do a reseeding. Because it is pretty devastating. They get the name army worms yes. because they come in kind of an A army, mass, yeah. And it kind of like, it's almost like it happens overnight. Yes. They can just kind of devastate an area. Mm -hmm. And so you usually don't have a whole lot of warning. So, right. you know, we encourage people to go out and scout their lawns, their yes. pasture fields. If you have some non-BT corn, we've seen some damage in some non-BT corn. Mm -hmm. It feeds on a lot of different species, but its favorite are those grasses. So, Kristen, if somebody does have the lawn, though, and they have it brown now, mm -hmm what can they do? Yes, so basically there's some reseeding that they can look at to, you know, again, get it back to the green lush stage that we all prefer. And there's a good opportunity to do that mid-August and all the way into September. And so we would want to encourage people, if you've never done that before and you're interested in participating, we have a great educational series. It's called the Home Lawn Improvement uh, Series. It's all going to be online. So you can join uh, from uh, from basically the comforts of your home and listen on Zoom for some of these educational trainings. The one that talks about lawn establishment and renovation is going to actually be held on Monday, September the 9th at 6 o'clock and we can certainly get that information in your hands if you're interested in participating. And if you have questions or need a positive ID on your army worm, you can send photos to your local extension office and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.